Joker. There's long been rumors as to how exactly Villager keeps smiling despite the painful attacks he endures during every battle. While a great amount of fighters are skilled in the art of combat, almost all of them feel more pain than Villager apparently can. What's known is that each fighter knows at least something about how to fight and has spent their individual lives learning and improving their skills. Villager, on the other hand, doesn't and should not be happy he was just falcon punched off stage. You'd expect Kirby or Jigglypuff to not feel pain, but they do, and aren't always smiling. So why does Villager smile so much? Most writers are fortunate to never know. Come on, Batu, get up, Pet said, trying to pull his magic mirror twin Dark Pit out of bed. Call me that again, I swear I will have your anus. Dark Pit snarled. Come on, Pit whined. No need for threats. It's the beginning of the last few weeks before Smash Bros. Manor reopens its gates. Now let's go. You go. I stay in bed. Dark Pit yanked his blankets back over him. Ugh. Fine. It'd be nice if you did something, Lazy Wings. Pit huffed. Give me some of Smash Bros. famous Brewster's coffee. I am out of my packets. <sighs> no sugar. I know what to do! Pit left his in Dark Pit's house, angry. He spread his wings and waited for Palatina to grant him flight before taking to the sky. Caught into an argument again, I see, Palatina telepathically told Pit. It's no fair, Lady Palatina. He's always out of his packets, Pit complained. That's not what I was referring to, Pelotina said calmly. He never gets out of bed in the morning. Who in Skyrule does that? Pit shouted. I find it rather enjoyable to, to sleep in once in a while, as long as I'm not being forced out of bed. Are you accusing me of a stick in the mud attitude? Yes, now you better make it up to him. I will. Pit landed in the Smashville station. He began to walk out and into the town when Isabel rushed by, knocking them both down. Ah, oh, oh, clumsy fluff, Isabel muttered to herself. Are you okay, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm fi- Whoa! You look exhausted, Pit exclaimed. <laughs> I've never been better, Isabel said before falling asleep. Um, Hello? Hey, she looks familiar. That's because she was in the cis trophy. She must be tired because of the mare, Paladina said. Oh, she's the secretary to Villager? Wait, Isabel, wake up. I need to ask you something, Pitt said, gently tapping her. You know if Villager is here? He's in? <sighs> she yawned. I'm home. Okay, thanks, he said as he left. Ugh, I don't like how tired she is. Doesn't she get vacation hours, or... I do not know. She is very passionate about her job, Pelotana said. At least tell her to take a break, right? She's joining Smash Bros, you know. That should leave her energized. As Pitt walked through Smashville, the more flaw he saw was a once thought to be perfect town. Sure, it was weedless and perfect fruit hung from every tree, but Pitt couldn't help but get a disturbed feeling of unity or equality. He wasn't sure, he thought those two words meant the same thing. But still, he couldn't look it up in the dictionary because he can't read to save his life. He noticed that everyone had a smile on their face. Everyone was politely greeting him with Welcome and Why hello there and It's nice to see a new face He felt a presence of something subtly going on like a discorded presence that was pulling on the strings of this unnecessary and constant welcoming When he arrived at town hall he went to knock on the door one of the animal villagers 
a blue feline named Rosie stopped him before his hand hit the door. Stop! I must knock for you, Rosie said. She then knocked. Mr. Mayor, we have a visitor here to see you. Villager opened the door, and was no doubt about it. He was still smiling, as he always did. This put Pit in a weird feeling. This made him just want to pick up Dark Pit's drinks and head home as fast as he could. Pit, how kind of you to join us. Please, do come in. I will get you something to drink, Villager offered sweetly. Um, actually, I was wondering if you could help me with something. You see, I made Pit do, I mean, Dark Pit mad and... I, I need to get him coffee, but he didn't say what type, and he said no sugar, and... Well, why are you still smiling? Pitt wondered, abruptly stopping the rambling he had started. Oh, am I still smiling? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's kind of not hard not to smile in this town. Uh, if you're concerned I'm a Mr. Grumpy Puss, let me show you where everyone in the town goes up to let a little, little steam off. Please, follow me! Villager said in a mischievous, childlike tone. He began to lead Vil Pit towards the edge of town. It was an old, unfinished building that looked abandoned. The only thing, only one thing, was painted on the side. The words "Just smile" were painted in blue acrylic paint. But all Pit saw was a random piece of chicken scratch. Now, I usually don't always resort to this, but I solemnly swear to every creature, deer, and bear that I'll keep the peace among the air. From the frog to rat to every cat and dog, I will keep this town happy. I know I may seem sappy, but life is as joyful as butterflies in May. And that, my friend, is how my residence in this town shall stay. Villager sung peacefully. Wow, you're such poetry, Pitt said. It's poet, you flightless, angelic dodo bird, Pitt snapped before recollecting his cool and softly saying, It's poet, Pitt. Po, it's okay. Pitt wasn't sure what to think of Villager's random rage outburst or the weird dilapidated building, but he knew he didn't like where this was going. What's in there? Pitt asked. Are uh, you mean it's a need of some serious mental rewiring? Villager asked ominously. N no, I mean, yes, I mean, maybe? Pitt was unsure of what Villager meant by mental rewiring. Pitt, Pitt, can you hear me? Pelotina shouted telepathically. Yeah, Pitt spoke back. We need to get out of there. Smashville is not as... As much peaceful as it is devious. Get out now, Pelotina warned. What do you mean devious? Pitt said, unaware he had actually said it out loud. You did not come here to join us. You came here to spy, Villager screeched. What? N no, I'm not a spy, Pitt yelped, scared. Do you not wish to be freed from the negativity and disgrace of the, the injustice of the world? Do you not wish to be liberated from the bullying and the pain that you and I both suffered? Villager interrogated. I I'm perfectly fine. I I'm fine, Pitt said as his wings began to sh shed feathers, feathers in fear. You rather be bullied and harassed by Veridi and the enemies of your own for the rest of your pathetic life? Villager screeched. He was getting louder and more angry. The angriest Pitt had ever seen him. Yes, and I will let everyone in Smash Manor know what's really going on in this crazy town, Pitt declared. You aren't going to tell anyone about anything. Get him! He's seen too much, Hunter hissed at his followers. Pitt began, begged Felatan to grant him flight. Sadly, as soon as he had flown ten feet away from the mob of insanity, he crashed into a tree branch at twenty-four miles per hour. Or was it 40 miles per hour? He didn't know. It broke his wings. He <laughs> fell to the ground with a thud and a snap. 
everything in his vision had faded to black. Pit soon woke up in an unfamiliar place, surrounded by the once friendly faces of those animals who had welcomed him. The minor in front of him was Villager. Villager wore the same blue shirt, the same red shirt with the blue number one on it. Like everyone else in his town, they are all just like him. Villager then began his speech. Today, we are reminded of why it is important in our society to never stop smiling. Not smiling shows weakness, insecurity, superiority, inferiority, and worst of all, hatred towards our own family. Let us show Pet the error of his ways and enlighten him with our unity, with quality, and most importantly, our ability to conform with each other and live our lives within diversity of species but never in emotion.